Investigators say they have found the owner of the Nissan Pathfinder left in Times Square with a bomb inside, but say he is not a suspect. They are still searching for the man in this surveillance video for questioning. The man changes shirts, then looks back toward where the SUV was parked and stuffs his old shirt into a bag. On Monday, the Obama administration said it was increasingly appearing the attempt to bomb Times Square was an international plot coordinated by several people. Whoever did that uh, would be categorized as a terrorist, yes. Uh, we don't know who's responsible, and that's what we're, uh, we're looking at now. Video evidence, along with forensics on the SUV, mean there is a good chance the culprit or culprits will be caught, say experts. You also have all the components of the bomb, which you can start to trace back, go to the stores where they were purchased, go to the manufacturers. So there's a, a tremendous amount of leads just with the vehicle and the contents of the vehicle. The former head of the NYPD's bomb unit says the bomb would have been catastrophic had it worked as intended. We would have had catastrophic damage uh, where the vehicle was, outward into the street, outward into the intersection here. Uh, there would have been mass casualties. He says it was a functioning bomb with a power source, explosives, a switch, and a detonator that fortunately just did not go off as intended. It functioned, but it didn't function as designed. It low watered, so the main charge never went off. The container inside didn't go off, the two by two by four foot, and the, uh, the propane and gasoline did not ignite. Uh, the propane would have enhanced the blast and give us an extremely large thermal ball here in this intersection. If you see something, say something. That's the mantra in New York City these days, thanks to a public education campaign. And those are the words of advice from the man credited with first noticing that something was wrong with that SUV here in Times Square. People applauded Vietnam veteran and street vendor Dwayne Jackson as he walked through Times Square Monday. This is a message I can leave everybody with, is that don't take anything for granted. Uh, if you see something, report it, even if you think it's insignificant. Now investigators hope another vigilant citizen will give them the tip they need to find the person or persons responsible for planting a bomb in busy Times Square last Saturday night. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, New York.